Assalamu alaikum, this is Zafran Saeed. In today's lecture, uh, we will be discussing structuralism, the, the second approach uh, after formalism. In previous video, uh, we have discussed formalism, and in this video, we will discuss structuralism. So, these are the outlines uh, uh, which we will discuss in this video. Uh, the, to what is structuralism? Uh, what are structuralist views? What are some codes that are uh, that play a vital role in the analysis of structuralism? And then we will apply structuralism theory on Imran Khan's speech, and we also applied uh, uh, formalism theory on the same speech in the previous video. And this video uh, on that speech we will apply uh, structuralism, and then uh, for uh, easy uh, example and for easy understanding we will also apply uh, the short story we also apply structuralism the short story the lottery written by uh, shirley jackson and then finally uh, the summary and references will be given so what is structuralism Structuralism is a theoretical framework used in literary criticism to analyze the underlying structures and systems that shape a text meaning. According to uh, Keller, uh, 1975, structuralism posits uh, that uh, meaning is something that inheres in a text. That meaning is not something that inheres in a text. Structuralism posits that meaning is not something that uh, inheres in a text, but rather something that is produced through the relationship and interdependency between the elements of various texts. Uh, so, after that, what are the structuralist views? Structuralist always seeks to identify the various components of a literary work and examine how they relate to each other. This approach emphasizes the importance of binary opposition or pair of concepts. Uh, binary opposition is basically a pair of related terms or concepts that are opposite in meaning. So, such as light, uh, dark, male, female, or nature, culture, etc. So, uh, after that, through, the, through an analysis of these oppositions, structuralist aims to reveal the underlying system, systems that govern a text meaning. For example, Barthes uses a structuralist analysis uh, to identify uh, the various codes that operate within a literary work, such as the uh, hermeneutic code. Uh, which involves the resolution of a mastery and the proalytic code, which involves unfolding of events. Also, uh, this code uh, is basically uh, two ways. These are the two ways of creating suspense in a, in a narrative. Uh, how it creates a suspense, uh, for example, hermeneutic code, is basically refers to any element in a story that is not explained. And therefore, exist as an enigma for the reader, raising questions that demand explication. And uh, the second one, pro aortic code, uh, refers to the other major structuring principle that bears interest or suspense on, on the part of a reader or viewer. So we can say that these are the two ways of creating suspense in a narrative. Now, it's a, a live example. Uh, the structuralism theory seeks to analyze uh, language as a structured system of science where meaning is created through relationship between science uh, within the system. A applying this theory to the given text uh, means to the given speech, to the given paragraph uh, you uh, see. I stand here in this form of the world leaders where we have a chance to discuss the problems the world is facing. So. We can identify certain structural elements that helps create meaning. Uh, read it by yourself, the paragraph, and we are going to discuss the, uh, its uh, analysis. So, I'm analyzing this paragraph uh, using structuralism lens. 
firstly there uh, there is the, is the binary opposition between the speaker and the word leaders at the front in this paragraph firstly we see the binary opposition between the speaker and the word leader is the front the speaker positions themselves as a representative of a country facing challenges and come to the front with a specific urgency in mind this creates a dichotomy between the speaker and the world leaders who are seen as having the power to address the problems facing the world secondly there is the the use of signifiers climate change and its uh, relationship to other signifiers such as ideas uh, funding glaciers and agriculture the speaker highlights the urgency of the situation and suggests that ideas without funding are mere hallucination uh what is hallucination uh we discussed in previous uh, lecture that it is uh, something that seems real but they are not so they are hallucination uh this uh, implies that addressing climate change this uh, implies that addressing climate change uh, requires concrete actions rather than just talking about it the speaker also emphasizes the impact of climate change in pakistan and relies heavily on its agricultural sector and is already among the top 10 nations affected by climate change overall uh, through the use of binary opposition and the relationship between signifiers uh, the speaker is able to convey a sense of urgency and importance regarding the issues of climate change while also positioning themselves as a representative of a country in need now we have a second example uh, uh we have taken a uh, taken a short story uh, the lottery by shirley jackson uh, read it by yourself it's available on the uh, internet and you can also uh, search on youtube so uh, we're just uh, going to uh, analyze it uh, by applying uh, the lens of uh, structuralism we are going to focus on this theory uh, where the lens of uh, structuralism so firstly there is a binary opposition uh, between the village and the lottery the village is portrayed as a peaceful idyllic setting where everyone knows each other while the lottery is a disturbing and violent event that takes place once a year on uh, uh, 26th of june and 27th of june uh 27th of june so this binary position helps create tension and foreshadow the shocking ending of the story secondly there is the use of the signifier uh, the black box and its relationship to the other signifiers such as slips of paper the postmaster and the stool the black box is a, a powerful the black box is a powerful symbol of tradition and the past representing the long history of the lottery in the village the slips of paper and 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 the stool are also important signifiers representing the individual uh, participants uh, and their potential fates uh, the post master role in the lottery is also significant uh as he is responsible for helping organize the event but is also seen as uh, separate from the other villagers uh, finally there is a use of repetition ritual in the story the lottery is an annual event uh, uh, that has been uh, held in the village of for generations and each of the process is carefully uh, choreographed and followed what is meant by choreograph it is basically a uh, uh, a a movement and and steps a sequence of movement and step and in a dance you can also say uh, bhangra uh, to choreograph is to make a dance or designing each move for a dancer to perform so uh, when you plan those movement and those steps it means you choreograph Uh, this repetition and ritual creates a sense of inevitability and reinforce the ideas and the lottery is an integral part of the village culture and tradition overall through the use of binary opposition powerful symbols and repetition the lottery creates a sense of tension 
and unease, culminating in a shocking and brutal ending that challenges the reader assumptions about the tradition and community. Uh, finally, structuralism provides a way to analyze the complex relationship between the elements of a literary work and uh, to reveal the underlying system that shape its meaning. By using this uh, approach, scholars can gain a deeper understanding of the ways in which texts operate and how they are constructed. So this uh, was all about structuralism and literary criticism. Uh, there may be a second concept of uh, structuralism which was uh, introduced by Florian de Saussure, but that was a linguistic point of view. In linguistics, we uh, study Ferdinand and this is your structuralism. And finally, these are references uh, from which these materials information are collected. Thank you so much.